Hi, I'm Mallory Brooke, makeup artist and content creator here on YouTube, and today I'm gonna to show you how to get the perfect bend loose wave for any length of hair, and I will teach you how to adjust how to style your hair if your hair is shorter or longer. And if you would like to see more hair videos from me, please subscribe so you don't miss any videos from me and give this video a thumbs up. And I will also have a playlist of my hair videos listed in the info box below so you can catch up on hair tutorials for honestly all lengths of hair. But if you're interested to see how to get this loose, effortless bend wave in longer, medium length hair, just keep watching. It's super simple and all you need is a flat iron and a curling iron and a good wide tooth comb. So the very first thing you wanna do is part your hair in the middle or the center, whatever you prefer. I prefer a clean center part. And you'll just need a few hair clips to section. I do have finer hair, so I don't need that many clips. What you're gonna do is take your flat iron. Starting with the first section of your hair, you're going to take your flat iron and you are going to simply go up and down and up down so create a wave and the looser you do this the looser your actual waves are going to end up so up down up down so I'm doing that four times for my length of hair you'll do it less or more depending on your length of hair now if you would like to see how I get a different type of wave on shorter hair I will link that very popular video down below. It's how to get waves like a hairstylist. The video really blew up. I explained how to basically get those waves that every hairstylist does on Instagram or that they do on you at the salon. You can do it at home yourself. So this is the second section and I'm gonna do the very same thing with my flat iron. Up, down, up, down but you can end this style flipped up or flipped under on the ends just by simply flipping up or under the ends of your hair. I like mine a little flipped under, so I'm gonna go ahead and go just like that to kind of have a little bit of a curl under straighter finish at the very ends of my hair. Now for the third and final section of my hair, and again, if you have more hair than I do, if you have thicker hair, you'll need to do this in as many sections as you need to do your hair. Now, the important part is the very last section, you're going to use a curling iron. You can use your preferred curling iron of choice. I am using the T3 with the 1.75 barrel attachment. Now, I'm just going to start by curling my hair away from my face and keeping that clip slightly open as I curl my hair towards and away from my face and then I like to pull down with the barrel to get a looser type of wave right here and I'm gonna do the same thing section by section until I reach the front of my face and you can start at the front of your face and work your way back I want the front of my face to be a little looser than the back of my head so that's why I'm finishing off with the front of my face because the front of my face will have less time to cool and set which will produce a looser wave so again don't really just kind of keep moving the clip i'll show you here in just a second until you get to the end there as you're curling kind of just leave your clip open just right about that much and you can kind of you know pulse it as you go to make sure that you're not getting any indentations and also keeping the heat a little less direct on the hair so now i'm going to kind of smooth that underneath part you can do that by just glazing the barrel on the underneath part of the hair just keep it moving keep the barrel moving we're not doing a full curl now if you stop the barrel from moving it is going to end up being a curl curl and you can pull on these curls like this to release the uh, curls themselves even more to create more of a wave now i'm going to wait just a few more seconds to let that front piece set and then i'm going to take a wide tooth comb this is crown affairs number two comb with the handle and now i'm just going to comb 
through this. And you end up before finishing off with styling products with the perfect kind of like bend. Even though your hair may be longer, it's fun to have the option to do that kind of like Hollywood celebrity carefree type of bend wave in the hair. Now I'm gonna do the exact same thing to this other side and we can speed up through this part. I'm just gonna comb through this. Now, if you'd like to know what hair products I used before I started styling my hair, I will list everything in the info box as well as my makeup. So my heat protectant and styling products will be listed below, but we're really just focusing on the tutorial today because I have other videos about explaining hair products and why I use them. And I will list my hair playlist below for you if you are more curious about different styles as well as other hair products and why I use them and why I choose to use them for certain styles. All right, and now is when you can kind of see where you need to touch up or if you need to use the curling iron, maybe on some other spots. I have pretty fine hair, so I can kind of get all of my hair at once <laughs> instead of having to do the back completely separately, but sometimes I like to touch it up because I bring <laughs> my hair forward because I don't have that much. So it all gets styled right in front of my face. And honestly, it doesn't look too bad this time to uh, go ahead and leave that little bit of a messy wave type look. Now I'm just gonna kind of curl my ends a little bit under a little more here, but overall I am very happy with how this turned out. All right, and now is when I will apply a texturizing spray or some sort of light hold hairspray. So I'm gonna just apply some texturizing spray. I'm using a Bumble and Bumble soft texture spray. Again, I will have all of the products used, tools used, and everything listed in the info below. And now I just kind of have some nice, soft, lightweight texture. And now I'm just going to apply a shine spray. This is from Kevin Murphy. It's for blonde hair. Now I'm just going to warm that up in my hands and just apply this to the ends of my hair. You can spray this on directly if you have uh, thicker hair than I do. However, I do not have the thickest hair, so I don't want to weigh my hair down too much. Not that this product does weigh hair down, but don't need that much. And now I'm going to set my style with a little bit of light hold hairspray, especially in the front. I like to hold up where that bend is and that kind of secures that little wave right there just by holding it up and spraying it in place. And now you have a really great cool girl, perfect loose bend wave for medium to longer hair. So the longer hair you have, you know, do more waves with the flat iron and the thicker that your hair is, make sure that you go ahead and curl more sections. Also, you can take your curling iron and rotate which way you wanna go with the barrel, but for a perfect bend like this, going in the same direction, you want to take the curling iron away from your face. So you can't go away from your face and towards your face and expect to get a perfect bend. That will produce more of a messy wave type of look. So if you would like a tutorial on messier waves for medium length to longer hair, let me know in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Again, everything I use will be in the info box below. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like for more videos like this. A lot of you enjoy my hair content, so please leave me a comment on what you would like to see next. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. All right.